Hey guys, so today Apple quietly updated the, um, their airport extreme and their time capsule. Um, basically this video will feature about the time capsule, my other video will talk about airport extreme which is a little... But anyways, basically Apple did update the um, time capsule with a 2 terabyte option and a 3 terabyte option. The 2 terabyte option will start at 299 and the 3 terabyte hard drive will well two the three terabyte um time capsule will start at three terabytes so at at four ninety nine so five hundred dollars for three terabytes three hundred dollars for two terabytes you can see how the proportions are gonna go in for um but basically if you don't know about what time capsule is it's basically a wireless hard drive backup system that you connect via wi fi um, I actually think this is pretty decent, like the technology behind this. Um, obviously, there are cheaper alternatives to this that are, be what, what do you want to call them, better or not, it depends who should looking at them. Um, but anyways, uh, it's kind of nice to see how um, Apple's finally updating it to 2 and 3 terabyte hard drive, because before it was previously, I think it was 1 terabyte and 2 terabytes, or just 1 terabyte. Um, so anyways, it's kind of nice to see how this big, up, well not big, but somewhat mediocre um, update on the sizes because nowadays people do use a lot of um, storage so it's kind of nice to see how they're turned back up. Hopefully um, one day Apple will make a feature or something to allow you to connect another external hard drive into the time capsule to allow you to maybe move around and such so you can add on to the hard drive like keep adding up so it's like a RAID 0 kind of format. Um, highly doubt that they would do that just because they hate everyone, they want to squeeze every money they could. Um, but maybe if they really did care about users, they would add that, right? Um, but anyways, comment, rate, and subscribe.